Hey guys, welcome back to Ralph's house. We're doing our train. This is a lot of fun because you know what? Trains go places. Always have stories to tell. And this one we're doing for the folks out there in Oklahoma. We're going to see where this train station is for this train. But right now we've got to finish. We've got our train and you've got to have something to burn. Well, this is why they had a car right behind the engine. And this one carried whatever they were going to burn in here, whether it was wood or coal or... So you had a car right behind the engine. And that's what it carried. It, it carried something that... We're going to put a... We'll load this up with a big old thing of coal. And they'd shovel that coal into that firebox. Let's do that. There we go. And they had a wheel here, the wheel back here. It's just give them something, something to burn. I also had a water tank on the back. They would fill part of this with water, because they had to have water for this engine. Let's get our tracks going back under there and keep our railroad track coming. And so that was the coal car, right behind the engine. And behind that, going off the page would be another, probably, you know, a cow car or something behind it. It'd be pulling something back there behind it. And you'd have cows or something back there in that car that would be back there. Heading off the page, there'd be more of that train. Trains would go a long, long way. You guys, when you paint, tell yourself a story. What you want this to be. Where do you want this thing to go? And probably back in the old days, you gotta remember this is before cars and everything else. Trains were the main way of transportation. And that's even hard nowadays for us to imagine. But everybody rode on a train. I mean, that's just, if you went anywhere, you took the train. I mean, that'd be a pretty neat thing to do. Get to ride on the train. But everybody also waited to hear them when it came into town. So when that train came, it was bringing goodies on it. All the people run out to see the train, see the engineer, see what all was going on. Let's get our track coming across here. Let's see where this train was going here. At the train, we had a little stop over here. Probably had a little old train station. It had a walkway up about this high. The train would pull up beside it, and that way they could unload all the cargo off, off onto the train station. You need to have had a little station here, you need to have the door here to go in. This is where you buy your tickets. Train station doors, they had that same little arch on them. They were something like that. But well, we got to have an old building out here, a train station building. The train station buildings are they're pretty unique buildings in their sales. Come across like this. So we're just trying to draw the rest of the story. Where was this train going? There was the train station building coming down. Had these kind of arched. They had real unique architecture design to them. That's a pretty neat thing about these old train stations. Now I tell you what, I'm gonna have to get down, go downtown one time, do some paintings of our train stations, because we got some neat ones in Chattanooga. And I've never done that, and I sure would probably enjoy that. Go down and just sit down and do a painting of it. Tomorrow. <laughs> yeah, they, they would probably love that. And they had the windows at the train station for people to look out, put your panes in. They're sitting there and they were looking out the window, waiting on the trains coming. Well, they didn't make them sit outside in the weather. These folks paid for a train ride. And they always had a sign up here that would tell what the station was. And that was so the train the engineer knew what town he was in because he did a lot of traveling. What for these signs they wouldn't know where they was at. We don't know where this so this train we decided he went to Okay, how would you abbreviate Oklahoma? Okay, Oklahoma, okay. Oklahoma City. 
need a station, Oklahoma City. We'll shorten that sign to right here and make it work. And erase that. That's the shadow the sign's cast on the roof. See how easy that looks? That's how, that's how you erase the paint. It's moving around. You know, of course, when we paint this in, we'll make it look a little bit neater. And they probably had some kind of chimney coming out of there. Over here, they'd have had a, a bench for everybody to sit on, waiting on that train to come. Uh, we used to call them parson benches because they had them in the churches. This is where everybody would sit out here and wait. Give them a place to sit and wait on this train to come. Probably a cat. You always got to have a cat. They're always hanging around places like that. So you got a cat sitting here. And you just wish it. He's waiting to see what he can get to eat. So we put a little cat in there. So we'll be, Oop, hang on to your palate. Now I'm just drawing this with burn umber, or I'm sorry, raw umber, uh, which is, is a, makes a pretty good drawing. It can be as light like we did here as you want to go, or it can be as dark as you need it to go. Now, raw umber's a uh, brown color, isn't it, right? That's right. It's a brown color. And a train always had a number on it, so they know which train it was. This one being an old train, we'll call it Old 97. So we'll put this, it'd have a little plaque under here. Too small to put a number on. We'll put the 97 there. That would say the name of the thing. But this is. Let's see how they'd have done it. 97. And that was Casey Jones's train. That's, that's what he was famous for. So all we're doing is trying to draw this picture a little bit about what we want this to be. See, so we're just taking. And making our little darks, so our doorways a little bit darker, and leaving the cell. The picture's kind of developing a little bit, and under the eaves on the up here, we're trying to do, use this paint up, but at the same time, we're going to do it to get something that we want out of it. Our cow catcher is a little bit high, we need to lower that down to about right there. Don't want no cows to sneak under that thing. That's a funny name, though, a cow catcher. I wonder who thought that one up. I wonder why they had to think it up. See, in the old days, farmers didn't have real good fences, and them cows would get out all the time and get out there on them tracks. Hmm? The cows liked them tracks. They could scratch their back on them gravels, and walk up and down the railroad ties, and wouldn't get their feet muddy. I mean, cows are funny critters. You gotta keep your eye on them cows. So we got Oklahoma City there. I don't know what all's in Oklahoma. I bet they have a lot of cows out in Oklahoma. I think that's where cowboys come from, is out that way. We don't have a whole lot of cowboys down our neck of the woods. We had mountain men in this part of the country. Cowboys from out west. You think you could tell a story with your paintbrush while you're painting? One day you can tell them why you painted it, what you were thinking. I'll tell you what, guys, it's a lot of fun doing this. Let's see what we can do with some color. Y'all come. 